Now, funerals for five Palestinians killed during Israeli raids have been taking place in Jenin in the occupied West Bank. Hundreds of people joined the funeral procession. At least eight Palestinians were killed in overnight raids across the occupied West Bank. Zain Basravi has more from Ramallah. Even as Israel's government, even as the Israelis release Palestinians in seemingly large numbers, in the grand scheme of things, small, but for every Palestinian prisoner they release, there seems to be a continued disregard for the freedoms of Palestinians they continue to detain, a continuous disregard for Palestinian life as they continue to kill people in very violent and endless raids in the occupied West Bank. Just in the last 24 hours, eight people have been killed in raids in various areas across the occupied West Bank. Most of those deaths, most of the activity, the major flashpoint in the last 24 hours, even as these hostage, even as these detainees were being released, even as the swap deal was happening, there were raids ongoing overnight in Janin in, in enormous fashion. There was a large number of Israeli soldiers going in, blocking ambulances, trying to get into hospitals, pulling injured people out of there. And this kind of thing continued throughout the night into this morning. It began in the early hours with the death of at least one doctor in Janine in the past 24 hours. Five more were killed, and overnight that death toll went up to eight. There were raids across the area. There was also one person killed in a raid near Nablus, as well as one near Ramallah, uh, not far from where we are now. So these constant raids, this pressure, is something that people were worried would get worse in the occupied West Bank as the ceasefire went into effect in Gaza. And there does seem to be an observable reality that that is happening, the pressure from the Israeli forces continuing to intensify in the occupied West Bank.